Um, but they haven't shown at all uh, in, in the regatta season. And now suddenly they've absolutely set the, 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 the regatta alight um, when they did their opening heat. They were extremely fast. Um, and uh, they've gone out very fast here again. Um, so they're, they're, there's, uh, there's, they're, they certainly are the force to be reckoned with. They, they won their heat five seconds faster than the United States and won the other heat. Um, so uh, they are the favorite the favorite crew in this event. I'm going to start for Great Britain lane number five. They've already been dumped out by Ukraine, USA in lane at number two, Germany in the lane two, USA in lane at number three. There's the British crew there, stroked by Katie Greaves from Leander Club. He's six years of age. Her job now really to find a, a defining rhythm that will get the crew back on terms. Germany going very strong in lane at number two, top of your picture, as we head towards the 500 meter mark. Through the first quarter, Ukraine from Germany, Russia in lane number six. Great Britain going through in sixth position. It's not really where they'll want to be. They'll be uncomfortable there. That will start to increase the fear, the panic about changing race plans. They'll have had a complete race plan that will have, they will have visualized where they want to be down the course, particularly in the first 1,000 meters. And when you're not there and considerably like Great Britain are, you'll want to start changing. They'll need to move pretty quickly. Ukraine now settling down on 34 strokes per minute, dealing with the water in the second five quite well. The danger when you're under pressure unexpectedly, uh, Gary, is that you start to seize up. And they will start to, to tense up and get anxious as they hit the rougher rough water. And that's a, a pretty, pretty bad combination because uh, you know, if you're tight and, 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 and a bit rigid, uh, when you hit the, the rough water with your, your skull, it reverberates all th up, up your body, through your body and into the boat, unsettles the boat. You need to be very flexible, very loose, very relaxed uh, to, to cope with difficult water so that your body acts as a shock absorber if the blades hit the water. Germany were Olympic bronze medalist in 2008, coming back strong here now with a good lineup in lane number two. The pressure is on against Ukraine early race leaders as we head towards the 1,000 meter mark. Ukraine, fourth at the Olympic Games last year, going through first at the World Championship final, being pushed on a hard by Germany, United States of America in third, and Great Britain in sixth position, fighting hard with Russia. Gary, until Great Britain produced a very fast women's quad in the last three or four years leading up to the uh, Olympics in Beijing, Ger this had been Germany's event. Germany had not really lost this event uh, in, uh, in 25 years since it was actually brought into the regatta program. So Germany, see, you know, their pride uh, really rests on, on this event in women's rowing. It's their event. So they've put everything into trying to win this. And uh, I would expect to see them challenge Ukraine in the last 500 meters really quite considerably because they put, they've got some really good athletes in their boat. We're through 1250 meters, the final of the women's quadruple skulls, Italy in lane one not showing, Germany strong in lane two, as to USA in three, Ukraine the early race leaders in four, Great Britain lane number five off the back of the pack and Russia in lane number six also now starting to struggle as the crews really drive on hard into these conditions. But a good tailwind, but it's chopping the water, making it bouncy, all about technique here in this third 500. Look at lane three now, having the better of Germany. This is the American boat, Kathleen Berkto in the stroke seat there, pushing on a hard, splitting Ukraine and Germany. The United States doing very well indeed. I mean, they've they always throw their boats together quite late, particularly with the men's crews. The women's crews have a much better system where they work out of a squad and their athletes are much, much more experienced. And here we've got the, the, the proof of that. Into the last 500 meters of the final, the women's quadruple skulls and Great Britain in lane number five really haven't shown anything in this final. The leaders right from the off, Ukraine in lane number four, now being pushed on a hard by the United States of America in lane three. Germany now struggling to hold on. At one point, Germany looking at them in lane two, they were in second place. They look strong in the second 500, struggling now, but they're in the bronze medal position, moving on hard. It is Ukraine from the United States of America, Germany in third place. 
the red indicates Ukraine have the better of the boat speeds. That Ukraine boat is extremely good. I mean, they're just moving away from the, from the, from the field, from the chasing pack, all the way through here. It's been a pretty, pretty immaculate performance from them, completely dominant. 200 meters remaining, Ukraine continue to lead as they did in the first 200. All the way through, they have been really strong, magnificent technique, dealt with the tailwind very well, dealing now with the water, the blaze riding high, the bow slicing through. We're inside the last 100 meters, it is Ukraine will be just catching the water there, a momentary lapse of concentration back on top. They've got clear water, Ukraine from the United States of America, and Germany in the bronze medal position. Ukraine, the world champions. USA get the silver. And Germany now coming up to the line in the bronze medal position. Great Britain coming through. Russia and Great Britain will finish now over the line in fifth position. Gary, that was a pretty supreme performance by Ukraine. Germany will be shocked by that. They put everything.